Hi, I'm John Miller, Production Manager for the Buck Atomic Absorption Department. Here I'll be demonstrating the use of the Model 230 uh, AA spectrophotometer. Okay, after you load the library for the element you're analyzing in the library screen, you'll update the instrument and go back into the analysis screen. At this point, you'll insert your hollow cathode lamp. fully into the holder. Then you need to align the instrument on the proper wavelength by simply pressing the align and waiting for the trace to be completed. It will show one or more peaks and it will pick the high point of the peak. By watching the energy graph on the display you will adjust for the maximum energy by turning the horizontal and vertical lamp adjustment knobs. If the screen, if it goes off the top of the screen, hit the normalize button to bring it back on the screen. But when you're done adjusting it, you will have the highest amount of energy that you can achieve. When you're done, Press zero and exit. And then the instrument is ready to be flamed up. When you're ready to flame the instrument up, first be sure that your, that your drain loop is filled with water. Next, you turn your air on. Make sure that the ball indicator in the, on the right side of your flow meter is between four and a half and six. Once you have that, you can turn your fuel on and adjust it to read four and ignite the flame. Adjust the flame so that it is all blue. Some analysis require different settings uh, check your manual for the correct setting. To calibrate your instrument, go into the calibration tab, enter in your values of concentration and the type of curve that you'll be performing. We're going to do a second order calibration. Our two standards are 5 ppm and 2.5 and ppm. First we're going to be running blank and then we'll be running our high standard and then our low standard. We press the start key to start the procedure. We'll be prompted for which sample we are using first. We're performing each sample only once and we have three standards. Hit OK. We're doing our auto zero first. Next is standard one, replicate one. Next is our 5 ppm standard. And then our 2.5 part per million standard. You'll get the message to say your calibration is complete. Your absorbance values are listed on the right side of the table. And you press calculate to draw the curve. Now when you go into your analysis screen, your readouts are now in parts per million. If we run a sample, and I'll use the five part per million as a sample, you can Read your sample as a five part per million.